Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to another Emacs video. I was just thinking recently about um, a little while back when I was practicing some card tricks. I want to be able to um, take a deck of cards and um, know a few good magic tricks that would be, you know, entertaining at parties and things uh, just for fun. And the the thing they say about what anything, whether it's magic or um, learning a musical instrument or you know anything that involves a certain amount of time it probably takes you know a few hundred a few thousand hours you know to really master something right so uh what's the best way of keeping track of time well there's a few good ways to do it you can you know every time you're about to start a task clock in right the time you started and the time you finished and then count it all up at the end or well if you know Emacs, you can do that in org mode. And uh, so we're uh, we're going to talk about that today. And we're also going to talk about not only how you can clock in and out of tasks and track the time that you're spending on tasks, you can also generate a report or a, a clock table of uh, that will basically display all the time that you've been dedicating to these various tasks. So. How long will it take? How much time do you want to dedicate? Those are the those are the questions you might start out asking yourself. And we'll go over some of the, the clocking functions that org mode gives you for logging the stuff. Basically, the way it works is you clock in and out of headings. So let's say, um, you know, card tricks. Let's say over the years, uh, you know, you want to dedicate 100 hours to card tricks. So control C, control X, and the letter E. Um, oh, sorry, control C, X, and the letter E. Um, you'll see at the bottom of the screen there, it gives you a prompt for how much effort. So let's say 100H, right? So that's 100 hours. You see that's just a property there of effort. So um, you, you that's just the hotkey that I showed you. I suppose you could also do control uh, C, control X, and then P for property, and then um, put an effort that way, and then just type it in. But either way, that, that's one task. Um, and let's say you might uh, have another task that you're working on that you don't know, you know how long it's going to take. You just want to keep track of it. Um, you know, let's say uh, presentation for work. Now you've got two different headings in here. And of course, the same works for subheadings as well. Um, so let's actually try that. So for the presentation at work, let's say you've got outline, drafting, uh, publishing, you know, something like that. So now you have a task with subtask, ta uh, a, a task with subtasks and a task with effort attached to it. So now to, to clock in and out of these, you'll do control C, control X, and then the letter I by itself to um, to clock in. Oh, it's not defined. Oh, sorry. So control C, control X, and then control I. So you'll see here the clock starts today at uh, and that time. And it's showing you as well the, the total time. So our effort estimate of 100 hours comes out to four days and four hours uh, i suppose that's right um, but it, it, yeah it's basically giving you the time you've spent so far uh, compared to the total that you've that you've set as your as your effort estimate so let's actually clock out control c control x control o yeah, okay, clocked out after one minute. I believe it rounds up to a minute. But let's say, you know, you actually started this um, at 11, 11. So you can actually edit your clock punches, which is helpful if you accidentally let one run over, you can you can go back and, and edit it to make it correct. And if you edited it, control C, control C. So now it says two hours and one minute. Um, and that'll be helpful when we look at the clock table so we actually have some time that we've put in so far and then you know once you're ready to log back in you know to keep working again control c control x uh, control i or you can go up to the menu here org uh 
logging work clock in and you also have clock out or clock cancel so good options there um, so now let's jump down to the presentation for work let's say for the outline here let's clock into it um, let's clock out and let's say we worked on that uh, 13 minutes or something like that All right, so now we've, we've clocked into a, a subtask and we've clocked into a main task and see what it tells us. So an, an easy way to do this is again, to go to the org menu here, logging work, create clock table. So there you go. So now the, the table's already been created and you'll see here, it's telling you all the tasks. So card tricks, two hours, one minute uh, presentation for work. Uh, the outline is all that's been worked on so far, 13 minutes. So the total for that whole project is, is still only 13 minutes. Um, and But the, the cool thing about this is that if you, if you came back and you did uh, some more work, or let's say we worked on, um, let's see. And Actually, let's clock back in to this task. Hmm. Here, why don't we change these around a little bit? Actually, no, that should be fine. So we, we, we did one minute of outlining. Uh, go up to the clock table here on the first line, control C, control C. Uh, we'll update it. So now the, the presentation for work total time is 14 minutes. And as you can imagine, each subtask will be listed in, in the clock table here. And of course, uh, this is fine if you like to read it here, but also if you do uh, control C, um, the export command, I think that's control C, control E. Yeah. So you can export this to HTML and just open up a browser really quick. And of course, you know, not just HTML, you can, you can export this to, to other, other document formats. But here's your table right here. So you can actually see for all the all the headings, all the tasks in this one org document, uh, you've got your total time dedicated. So very cool, an easy way of keeping track of your of your projects and your effort and getting a nice report at the end without having to manually keep a log and calculate it all yourself. So thank you for watching. I appreciate everything, everybody showing up for these, uh, these little presentations. I hope you found it helpful. I'll see you guys next time.